the differences between a male and a female pallus. Let's look at a male pelvis and a female pelvis because our today's task is we have to know what are the different comparison points between a male pelvis and a female pelvis. First, I like to explain on a female pelvis. Why I'm calling that this pelvis is a female pelvis? You can look at it. There are certain features. These are my iliac bones and this is the ala. The ala of the iliac bones, in a female example, this distance is more wider. They are more flared. And then you can see that this is more oval in shape. What is this? This is the pelvic inlet. If I compare with the male version, it is more heart shape. It, it has anterior, more anterior posterior dimension. But in a female model, it's more ovoid and it's wide apart. Every structure is giving way. Giving way to what? To the baby who has to pass through this pelvis. This is designed for a childbirth and this pelvis is just designed for muscular attachment and a strength. If we compare the sciatic notches, look at the difference. They are more wider in comparison with the male and then you can see that the arches what arches are these these are the cubic arch this is more a gothic arch it's acute and this is obtuse and this is more like a roman arch then we can see the spines i don't know you can see from this angle or not but right now i can show you in a female pelvis the promontory is not coming that much forward how you can see that here the promontory is coming in the way and here it is giving way and the sacrum is less curved but here you can see sacrum is more curved now look at the ischial spines and then compare the distance between the two these two ischial spines they are wider and if I compare the male version, they are closer to each other. And similar goes when we look at the ischial tuberosities. Now if you look at the ischial spines, look at the distance here. And compare the distance here. This outlet is designed for passage. And this outlet is almost, every structure is coming towards center. And this becomes narrow. Look at it. This sacrum is more curved. And this is comparatively less curved. These ischial spines are wide apart if I compare with the male version. Ischial tuberosities are wide apart if I compare with the male version. So all these structures are designed to facilitate. Look at this arch. I have already mentioned about this. Look at the arch and compare it. This makes it's more a Roman arch and it's more a Gothic arch. This is obtuse and this one is acute. To understand better the differentiation between the male and a female pelvis. Let's look at this presentation. And I'll be using the same images of the models which we have seen so far. Now, let's take, have a look at this female pelvis. So this female pelvis, what are the features which are going in a favor? Why I'm calling that this is a female pelvis? Because the ala of my hip bone, the coxal bone, they are wide apart. They are more flared. And then the ischial spines, they are also at a far distance from each other. And then the pubic arch is more obtuse, is wider. And then if you look at the symphysis pubis, the symphysis pubis is shorter than the male version. And then if we look at the pelvic inlet, it's more ovoid as compared to the male which is heart shaped. And then the less sacrum that is less curved, the male sacrum is more curved and promontory is not that much coming in the way. 
because the female pelvis is designed for the facilitation of the childbirth but the male pelvis is primarily made for strength and the male pelvis is more stronger and more purpose built for strength purposes and female pelvis is designed for facilitation of the childbirth. Now let's look at the greater sciatic notch which is wider in case of female pelvis because everything is wider if we compare with the male counterpart. Now these are the few images of the fetal skull and this fetal skull is primarily these are the things which has to pass through this inlet and outlet and that's why the female pelvis everything is more side apart more wider and more ovoid in different dimensions. Now let's look at the male pelvis. The male pelvis the alas are not that far if we compare it so they are less flared. The ischial spines the distance is comparatively lesser than a female pelvis and then the pubic arch is narrower is not obtuse it is acute here and then the symphysis pubis as compared to the female version this is tall and then if you look at the pelvic inlet it's more anterior posterior and it's a kind of hard shape and then the greater sciatic notch is less wider and the sacrum is more curved as compared to the female part and now let's look into this real specimens of a male and a female pelvis and our main focus is we are looking at first look at the general texture but then compare these two areas what are these these are the pubic arches look at it this is acute in case of male model and we, it's like a gothic arch and if you put your fingers it is something like that you can practice it yourself and the angle which has been made it ranges from 50 to 60 degree in case of the male pelvis and if you look at the female pelvis the arch more look like a Roman arch and my thumb and a finger are showing you the obtuse angulation and this ranges from 80 to 85 degrees and then the male pelvis is tall and narrow and in comparison the female pelvis is shallow and wider so these are the differences which are seen within this comparative models and these are the real pelvises of a male and a female. Now this is a comparison there you can see very clearly and you can put side by side the female pelvis and a male pelvis and you look at the differences look at the outfit the texture and the design how everything is being coming closer and how everything is going further apart because here the main purpose of a female pelvis is facilitation of childbirth. Now we can see this is a male pelvis. Look at this distance which is between the two ischial tuberosities and the distance between two ischial spine and in a female model so you can see the measurement how far this is wide they are wide apart as compared to the male counterpart.